I think you already know that footwork is the most important thing in boxing, and that's for a reason. It controls your balance, position, and distance, making your offense sharper and your defense harder to break. Without solid footwork, nothing else works. In this video, I'll give you 12 drills that will boost your skills and agility at the same time. Let's get straight into them. And we will start with a group of skill-specific drills, and the first one will be the sidestep drill, which looks like this. So, let's break this one down. Start in your frontal stance, and then just take steps to the side, moving your head from the center line and transferring your body weight like this. Then, start rotating your heel, hip and shoulder, so it will look like this. Then, get in your fighting stance and do the same. You can also keep your hands up at this point. And then, you just start throwing punches, hooks, Uppercuts and hooks to the body work perfectly with this movement. And then you just add intensity and try to do it as fast as you can while keeping a good form. So that was our first drill. And in the second one, we are going to do weight shifts so it will look like this. Now let's break this one down. Start in your frontal stance, load one of your feet, and then start switching your feet places, like this. And keep your body weight at one spot. So my body weight is here, and I just switch my feet. Then start rotating your shoulders and hips, like this. Then the next step is straightening your loaded leg. So it will look like this. I straighten. I go back and switch my feet. Then take a step forward in the frontal stance, switch your feet, extend this leg, take a step here, switch feet, extend, and it will look like this. And then do it in the fighting stance. You can keep the, your hands up. So take a step to the side, switch feet, extend my foot, and I can add a punch to this movement. Then from here I go to the side, switch feet, extend leg, add punch. Then I go here and I just continue it. And then you do it faster and it will look like this. And you want to focus on creating an angle. And in the third drill we are going to practice pivots. So it will look like this. So I start in my fighting stance, I step in, then I do a pivot, I step out. Then I step in, do a pivot to the other side, and I step out. Here I did 180 degrees pivots, but you can do 90 degrees pivots, so it will be more realistic. So step in, move my heel back like this, then I step out. Then I step back in, and now I move my toes forward, and I step out. Then I just add some intensity. Like this. Then the next drill, we are going to do the L step, and we are going to draw a square, and it will look like this. So, take a step back, then step to the side. Here I took steps, four steps with my feet, then I take four more steps and I draw a square. And now just add hop here, so I don't really take four steps, but I switch my feet in the air while taking steps like this. And then you just add speed. And I'm trying not to cross my feet, not to lose my balance. So that was the fourth drill. And the fifth drill will be pretty similar, but I will move in the other direction. So I take step forward, then diagonal step forward, and bring this foot to the starting position. Then I move back, diagonal step back, and this foot to the starting position. And then I add speed. Like this. And those were five skill-specific drills, and now we're going to move to agility-specific drills. Let's go.
With the 12 drills from this video, you can significantly improve your footwork, but of course, that won't be enough to become an advanced fighter because you will also need things like head movement, combinations, counter punching, fighting IQ, and a lot more stuff. But don't get stressed because I got you covered. All of that and even more I already put in the KO boxing package, which is a training program for fighters of different levels. So if you want to enhance your confidence and performance in and outside the ring, get the KO boxing package first link in the description. So in the last five drills, we focused more on our skills, on our form. But in the next seven drills, I want you to focus more on your agility. So in the priority, you want to be fast and then you of course keep a good form. So our first drill will be the switch step. So I basically stay in my frontal stance and then I take steps like this. So if you see this line right here, I cross over it. And then I just add punches to this movement. And you want to be real fast in this drill. Our second drill will be zigzag. So once again, here is the line and I will cross my feet like this. And then to this movement, I will start adding punches when I can see openings. That was our second drill. And the third drill, we are going to do basically the high knee run with punches. Start running at one spot, then move your thighs up and throw punches. Like this. But a common mistake is to run like this. That is wrong. And the whole point is to move your hip to one level with the floor. So your like, thigh parallel to the floor, then you will feel it. Then the next drill is an absolute killer for your calves. So what you're gonna do is start jumping on one foot and then swing the other one. I don't swing my knee like this, that's wrong. I swing my whole leg. And then to this motion, I start heading punches with this huge rotation. Like this. Jump like 45 seconds or one minute and then switch your leg and practice it to the other side. So that was our fourth drill. And in the fifth one, I want you to move in a circle with a shuffle step like this. So let's break this one down if it's new for you. I stay in my frontal stance, keep my hands up. Then I take a step and I dip down just a little. And then as I move closer, I get up. So it will look like this. Then you just start bouncing like this. So get up on your toes. Then you want to switch directions really quickly here and add punches. Like this. So that was our fifth drill. And in the sixth one, I want you to find a plate. So take a regular barbell plate, smaller ones will do just fine. You move in, then you kind of hop forward and throw the jab. Then you move back and throw the cross, like this. So, and you need a plate to see where your feet should land. And at first you can start with no punches, just like this. Focus on being fast. And then once you are in your rhythm, you can start adding punches like this. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Like this. And the fifth drill, I mean the seventh drill. I am a good boxer, if you can see. And our last drill will be stance switches. So I bounce up on my toes, step in, throw jab, step out, throw jab like this. So basically you start bouncing up on your toes, then you throw jab and step in, step out, switch my stance, step in with the jab, step out and continue this. One. One. That's it. If you found this video helpful, I definitely recommend you check out this one right here where I break down essential boxing footwork techniques. Thanks for watching and stay sharp.